Yo, you're back home. We missed you. Tons. Gotta say, um... Yeah, I mean, we did miss you. However, we did hold our resolve. I can assure you, um... We have been quite happy. Although, you do not seem happy yourself. Is something wrong? Uh, no shit something's wrong, Taka. Come on, just look at them. You know they're not feeling happy. Hey. You know you can talk to us, right? Exactly. I am the ultimate moral compass. I would never do anything that is against your will. How could I? The last thing I would ever want to do is hurt your feelings. Same here, bro. So hey, why don't you tell us what's up? School stress, huh? Yeah, nah, I get it. Honestly, school can go jump in a fire. Well, that's quite severe, Mondo. Ah, you get what I mean. I don't like it. What? Excuse me? I mean, you, you know what I mean. It can be stressful sometimes, and you know that doesn't feel good. Um, fair enough. I suppose that is hard to argue against. Um, nobody likes stress, and a school's primary function really should not be to stress you out. It should be to make sure that you are educated and well-prepared for the world at large. Yeah, but sometimes... Sometimes that objective gets kinda... lost. Really? Well, that place does not deserve to call itself a school. It deserves to call itself a prison. Well, can't argue with you there. As someone who's experienced prison before. Be quiet, bro. You're not that hard of a criminal. Hey, bro, don't make me look bad in front of them. Uh, sorry, bro. Uh, I just... I just like stating the facts. Yeah, well, sometimes the facts aren't exactly worth being said. Well, one fact that is worth being said is... Look at this backpack. It's a complete mess. Um, would it be alright with you if I, um, helped you organize your notes? It seems that you have, uh, papers scattered all over the place. You know... Even though my backpack looks kind of similar to that, I should probably agree with you. I mean, if your notes are organized, that's one less thing to worry about. And it really looks like we should do whatever we can to make you as believed as possible. Exactly. So here... Please hand over this incredibly snazzy backpack this instant! Do not worry, I am quite accustomed to sorting out portfolios. I will have this done for you in no time. Alright, well... I'll be here to give you some emotional support. So, what do you want to talk about? Hey, look, I know it seems like a lot, okay? You can break it down into sizable chunks, though. Maybe that'll help you. Divide and conquer, as they say. Instead of just looking at the whole plan like one giant problem, you can split it up into a bunch of smaller ones. Exactly! That keeps you on track for success. I should know! That's how I've gotten to the point where I am now, and I'm now known as the ultimate moral compass. Uh, yeah. Either way... Um... Also, just know that... Whatever happens... Grades... Don't really... 
They aren't really a good evaluation of who you are as a person. I mean, there's no grade for being a good bro or anything like that. Although, rest assured, I would have gotten an A in that course. Well, <laughs> yeah, if I was your teacher, that's for damn sure. And hey, you're also a good partner, okay? Of course. Mondo and I entered this relationship both knowing just how wonderful of a person you are. I know it can be quite harsh on you when it comes to your marks. However, just know that even though I usually am on your case about your grades, because I do care about them, they do not have any bearing on how great of a person you are. No matter what your grades are, you are still a wonderful partner for both me and Mondo. <laughs> Damn right. Hey, bring it in. Hey, true bros know when to hug it out, alright? And you're more than just a bro to me. So come on, bring it in. Um, I hope you don't mind if I take a quick break too, to, um, maybe get in on this too? M maybe? I, I hate to interrupt. Now get yourself in here, bro. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Above all else, I just want you to know how much we love you. Both of us. At least, I think so, right, Monto? I don't want to put words in your mouth. Yeah, don't worry about it. I don't mind you putting words in my mouth when they're all right. Because, I mean, how could I not love you? You brought Taka and I together. You overall just made me a happier person. You helped me to face all my problems. Come on, what's there not to like about you? Quit it with the school stress. No matter how stressed school makes you, I'm not changing my opinion on you as a person. Report cards don't judge your personality. Right? Hey, I just want you to know... That if school is making you stressed, we will do everything in our power to make sure that you do not feel that way. Plus, you can't tackle school when, you're, when your judgment is clouded by stress. Yeah, exactly. When you're stressed, you can't make rational decisions. So we're going to do everything we can to bring you back down to Earth. And that starts one small step at a time. And one of those small steps involves me reorganizing your notes. So, um, if you don't mind, I shall leave this group hug and get back to my work. Hey, but before I go, uh, I love you very much. Well, both of you. Yeah. Nah, I can say the exact same thing. Regardless of what happens, we're gonna help you out, okay? If you need help with homework, you can always come to me. I will be here to help you. I mean, I cannot deny a request from someone who wants to better their education, correct? <laughs> Alright, you do you. Me? I just prefer to take it easy. So if you ever need help taking it easy, you know where to find me. Yeah, exactly. Very well. Um, I shall resume my work then. There it goes. 
Honestly, no one's Haka. He'll probably be finished organizing your notes in like two minutes or something. The dude's insane. But just remember, if you're ever stressed about anything, you can always come to me. I tend to be pretty level-headed when it comes to dealing with other people's stress. And you and, uh, you and Taka helped me out when dealing with my own stress, too. Honestly, I'm forever grateful for that. So, however I can repay you, that's how I'll do it. And this is a promise coming from a man. So you know that I'll stand by it no matter what. That's the spirit, Mondo. You truly are becoming much more of a moral compass than you have been before. I truly admire you for upholding your own honor code. Uh, uh, thanks, bro. Um, I'm not sure how to respond. I've, I'm still not used to being complimented that much. Get used to it, bro. It's gonna happen a lot when you're around me. Well, all right. I'll keep that in mind. Uh, right. Uh, sorry, got a bit distracted, man. Um. I have finished reorganizing your notes. Here you are. If you need any help, please do not hesitate to ask me. I should be able to assist you in any way I potentially can. Yeah, same. Y you wanna... You wanna group cuddle again? Seems like you could use it again. If it's okay with them, it's okay with me. <laughs> well, <laughs> I guess I'll take that as a yes. Come on, guys. <laughs> <sighs> I must say, this is quite... This is quite nice. After having such rigid parents, so focused on my... on my education, uh, I'm very happy that I've received such wonderful emotional support from both you guys. Y you feel the same way? <laughs> I mean, can you blame them? We really are the best, bro, aren't we? Um, well, I do not want to boast, but it certainly appears that we're doing our job well. Um... I, I hope you're feeling a lot better than you were before. <laughs> Is that even a question? Look at their face. Well, I guess that is true. However, um... Here. Uh, I understand that school stress does not magically go away. So, uh, tonight after dinner, uh, how would you feel if I helped you study? Uh, I understand it may be intrusive, but... Uh, please. Please at least consider it. I want to help you in every way possible. Yeah. And if you ever feel emotionally overwhelmed, you can always come to me. We got you back. Always. Exactly. It would be completely immoral to abandon you. We could never. Right, Mondo? I mean, duh. Well, with that, uh, I think we should edge the screw pug, and we can hang out just for a little bit. Have a stress-free afternoon. Yeah, sounds good to me. What do you think? Sounds like you could use a stress-free afternoon after everything that you just described to me.
Then it's settled. What should we do? <laughs> we could always just... We could always just watch a movie. Very well. Then we'll let them decide. We are the ones accommodating them, after all. It's a plan. All right. Well, I'm happy with how things turned out. As am I. Here. Before we go, one more group hug for the road, all right? Uh, I certainly have no problems with it. Then get over here, bro. <laughs> All right. Relax. Everything's going to be all right. We have a plan put together, and we're going to do our best to get you reorganized so that you can be confident in yourself again. And just know that no matter what, we love you. Absolutely. <laughs>